Hey, Tai here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel and welcome to the True the Lenses series, the series where we stick a camera in front of the lenses of our VR headsets to see which one is the best, which one is the right for you. Well, this time it's gonna be a little different because we're comparing the same exact headset. We're gonna compare, of course, the Oculus Quest 2 with the resolution of 1832 by 1920 LCD RGB pixel arrangement running up to 90 Hz. So what's the difference? Well, Oculus just updated the Oculus Link connection, now it's out of beta, and with the version 23, that by the way, if you didn't receive it yet, I made a video over here on how to install it manually, it works pretty well, uh, that's the way I install it anyway. But uh, going back to the topic, they improved exponentially the quality of link, so I wanted to see if I could spot the differences also in my True Lenses video. And I have to say that, uh, yeah, uh, you can see them. So here we are comparing the Oculus Quest 2 Pre-23 with V23, of course. By the way, I noticed some weird things going on with the new update. I'm gonna explain it better after the video. Uh, for now, let's enjoy, but let's remember that this is not a science. These lenses, these screens are made for your eyes and not for the lenses of a camera. So take your own conclusions, see what you wanna see. And uh, of course, we're gonna talk more about it at the end of the video. But so far, for now, enjoy. Let's get into it.
Here are the guys with a comparison with the pre-update and after the update with the Oculus Link out of beta. And I have to say that the results are very, very good. More in person than in the True Lenses video. Uh, when I approached this video, I actually wasn't really uh, sure uh, that I was able to show um, difference at the end of the day because uh, you know the details the difference is so so small and tiny that maybe the camera wasn't going to get it but uh, we got some good examples probably the best one during the text test where we can see that we can kind of read one more raw uh, than the one that we did before so for sure the resolution having a higher resolution now uh, being able actually to change the resolution also in software uh, for sure helps for readability and for clarity also i have to say that i found a big improvement not just in a picture clarity but actually in latency and stuff like that and we also have to notice that this time is running at 90 hertz instead of the 72 hertz of the pre-update now what are the weird things with this update though uh, one is that I had to actually change manually uh, the bitrate to 300 because I wasn't really able to to get a good color balance a good color reproduction uh, with the even with the newest update I had pretty much the same compression of before and bring it up uh, I wanted to see the best scenario possible and bring it up to 300 I actually had a much better picture that is kind of comparable to other headsets we are not quite there uh, like having a display port directly on your pc but uh, well uh, we're getting close to it and i don't know if they're gonna uh, keep improving here or not if we are really at the limit of the usb uh, 3.0 right now but this was a great uh, result and i think you can spot it in the video of course at the same time though i noticed some uh, weird uh, shimmering uh, in the image everything was kind of moving in the small details uh, so it was really hard to capture uh, like certain scenarios uh, when you see for example the cars getting far away further away uh, well it, they kind of like move a little shimmering around so uh, it was a little weird i don't know uh, what was uh, that produced that uh, i didn't have any automatic resolution over there uh, the resolution was high enough so i don't think it was a resolution problem so uh, maybe it's something that we can look at and the thing that i have to point out the most is that this is very very heavy on the graphic card right now i have a 2080 ti and i was struggling with frame rate pretty much everywhere dcs was completely unplayable for example with this resolution this bitrate and the frame rate of 90 years uh, now i didn't try uh, to bring it down because i wanted the best quality possible for the picture uh, but yeah uh, 2080 ti wasn't enough to uh, stay uh, with this resolution with this frame rate uh, with this bitrate uh, so it's something that you have to be aware of uh, with, to have the same result for example with the PC VR headset made for PC VR uh, is much much easier like I can run even an higher resolution with the G2 instead here I have to keep it everything lower to make it playable and if I make it too playable well I'm gonna have some uh, artifacts from uh, the compression so uh, it's really a balance that you have to find over here for sure it's much heavier on the GPU than uh, than a regular PC VR headset. But anyway, guys, I think that the, the, the upgrade, uh, it was for sure worth it. The image quality is much, much better and it's much better when you have it on your face than, uh, of course, showing it in a camera. That's why I give the disclaimer every time. Uh, but so far, that's all. Let me know what you think about it in the comment below. And uh, in the next videos, uh, the True Dances series video, we're actually gonna see, uh, I'm gonna try to do the same with the uh, latest version of the G2 comparing to the pre-production unit but uh, i tried already i didn't find much uh difference at least from the camera uh, when you put it on your eyes well uh, it's absolutely another thing uh, but from the camera well uh, i couldn't show really uh what was the real difference so uh for now i keep working on it uh and let's see if uh, i can push it soon but anyway guys let me know again what you think in the comment below and as always if you like the video like if you didn't like it this is like subscribe to the channel for more of vr tech and if you really love the channel, there's a join button down there, a little bit further, also the Patreon with prior access to videos. And at the same time, we have the t-shirt with sticker mask. Well, it's always down there. Uh, anyway, guys, as always, like this, like, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.